It's your boy Sean Scana ni wewe watamba shandi nsui sanyota Body all in proportion apana kana chaka shota And I don't wanna be rude but I can't keep my Hey y'all welcome back to my channel Sharon the Goddess If you are new here I am Sharonda Hey y'all welcome back to my channel Sharonda the Goddess If you are new here I am Sharonda If you are new here I am Sharonda I do vlogs, I do hauls sometimes And I also do makeup tutorials i do diy so on my channel you're gonna get everything so yeah so if you're new i welcome you so much and if you don't mind if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel you will definitely love it here i do everything like i said i am just all around happy go lucky person and i just love it and to my ogs you know who you are thank you all so much for returning you know the love is real you know how we rock in like we you know so yeah but anyways y'all this video is going to be talking about lessons learned in 2022 and years prior to 2022 and just the growth in me and just everything so this video this is what we're going to be talking about in this video right here any questions that you may have you can leave them down in the comment section down below um just let me know your thoughts and everything of this video and yeah I, I, I heard you. How you put it out? Thank you. Oh, thank you. How are y'all? Look, my daughter. Come here, mama. You gotta show them, y'all. I mean, you gotta show them. My daughter, give me some flowers. Thank, thank you, my you. hat. Oh, love my hat. <laughs> thank you. Look at this. Just sitting out doing my video, talking to y'all. And, oh, look. Mama, you want something to tell me? Hmm? You want, you, you want, you want oh, you freaking us up? Y'all, look. This is a little break, but y'all watching what we doing. This is my twin, and my other twin was in the kitchen, y'all. They be arguing over who look like me. But anyway. I look more like my like mother. <laughs> but, um, oh, they look good. What are they, um? Well, I wouldn't get me, you know, so I'm Well, give me a steak, then, something yeah. different. Give me a steak. And I want that um, chipotle sauce, though. I want me to get some steak. Oh, my God, sorry about that. My kids um, came in the house and surprised me. Oh, my God. Y'all. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed with the smallest, simple things. And like, and these bro, these flowers, they go in my face, y'all. But anyways, let's get into this video. I just wanted to talk about this um, early on in the months. But I was like, I want to leave it for like the end of the year video so I can talk to you guys and just, so y'all can get like an overrun and everything of what I'm talking about and what I've been going through and what I've been through. Stuff like that. Like, I'm not afraid to, you know what I'm saying, open up to you guys, express to you guys. I just don't give you all too much, but at the same time, I'm going to give you enough you know what i'm saying um instead of word enough or enough y'all know what i'm saying but anywho um but yeah y'all so i just want to get down with let's get into the topic with um because i don't really say i have friends i say i have sisters more say you know what i'm saying so let's get down to family like sisters um people that's coming to me in my kids life um they are no longer you know you know what I'm saying? So, I want to hop on that bandwagon, like, real fast, like, right, like, real quick. So, um, you know, everything that looks good and looks great and gravy, most of the time, nine times out of ten, is not good. Most of the time, it's, like, a lot of people that's just trying to, um, hang on, get on to what you got going on, and then once they see they can't, like... I, I wouldn't say be able to hang or whatever, but I guess it's the realness that's in you. A lot of people seem to fall off, you know what I'm saying? And because you're so real, they will end up eventually kicking themselves out of the um, the growth that you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have to grow in life, you know what I'm saying? If you're not able and, you, and if you're not willing to grow, then you don't have no room for nothing, you know what I'm saying? You have to grow in this life because it's like God has given us so many opportunities to get ourselves together, to get our act together, and get things together. You know what I'm saying? And if you just sitting around playing like somebody's gonna be waiting on you, you got another thing coming. So it's that's either with family members, um, exes, you know what I'm saying, things like that. You cannot take people in a season where God is trying to elevate you. You know what I'm saying? Like let's elevate ourselves don't be afraid to elevate yourself because me personally i used to be afraid to elevate myself i used to be so comfortable in like certain situations like yeah this is fine this is how it's supposed to be when in all reality that's not how it's supposed to be sis like for real like you deserve to be happy you deserve to be like just be yourself and just be calm 
the person that God has intended for you to be. You know what I'm saying? And don't settle. I used to settle. That's another subject we're going to start on, y'all. I wish I had me some wine to talk with y'all, but I really don't want no wine because wine really makes me talk a lot. And I start laughing for no reason, so <laughs> no wine. Um, but I do have my ice on the side. But anywho, um, but yeah, let's talk about this, um, you know, about the settling thing. Um, yeah, I used to settle, and I know a lot of you have settled. It, it don't even have to be with a relationship. It can be with just, okay, I know I said I want this, my favorite color to be on this, but I'll settle for that, you know what I'm saying, just because they have it in the same shape, form, size, but it's not the color, you know what I'm saying? So why settle for something that you know you can get somewhere else? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, when it comes to just being with someone or having friends around that you call your friends or associates, for me, like I say, I always call them sisters or brothers. Um, if it's somebody that, you know, that you just see that's not trying to elevate or things like that, you do want to push them, you want to encourage them, but if they can't see it to the point where it's like exhausting, it's so tiring, you have to let that situation go because then you're going to be exhausted and tired. You know what I'm saying? And I used to be so tired, y'all, like, oh my God, like, <laughs> glory. Like, if y'all would just know um, just where I've been and things, I can show you pictures, girl, look so old in my pictures because of the simple fact I was settling and I was not giving um, the credit to God. You know what I'm saying? I would always be like, God, I want this, I want that. But at the end of the day, is that what you really want? Or are you just settling? And me personally, sis, I was settling. I can tell you this because, you know, I've elevated, I've grown. I have a lot of growth in me and it's just like, I got more attitude. Like, for real, for real, like, you cannot punk me into thinking you're this type of person when I can see clearly through you. You know what I'm saying? So, that on that point about settling, if you've ever settled on anything, it don't have to be a relationship, it can be anything, comment down below. Please comment down below because you know you deserve better, okay? Um, so, our next subject um, that I'm going to be speaking on about myself, and you can comment down below, like I said, um, is just continue being myself. Continue being myself, meaning y'all may see me glitzed out sometimes, but for the most part, I will be comfortable in my clothes around my house. Even if I go to the store, I may have my hair bonnet on. Okay, and what? So many people have this discrimination about, oh, you shouldn't be wearing um, headbands or whatever, you know, hair bonnets out to the store. Baby, if that's what makes me feel good, then let me do me, okay? And if that's what you like to do, sis, you do you. Don't ever let nobody that don't have, uh, I wouldn't say what you have or whatever, because they can have more than you and still be jealous of you. But just don't let the opinion of that's negative from somebody else dictate what you got going on in your life because baby you are blessed you know what i'm saying um it's just like a lot of people try to dictate on how you dressing what you're doing how you doing it when at the when their life ain't even half as good as yours or they may have like i said they may have more than you and they still got a problem with you like little old you what's what's the deal with me you know so it's just like you know live your life do you be happy. You only live one life. And God gave it to us. It's very precious. And that's why I do not take another day for granted at all. Um, I don't waste no more time. I don't sit around um, acting like, oh, yeah, everything will be better tomorrow. No, 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 no. Let's get that right today. And if it can't be right today, then we just don't have no tomorrow. Let's go ahead and do what we're doing and, and, and leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it there. Um... And it's just like, just do you. Like I said, just do you. Be happy with you. As long as you know who you are, then nobody can take that away from you. They may try, but they can't. Like, simple. Period. Um, another thing I wanted to sit, you know, that was, I was like resonating in my spirit that I wanted to talk to you guys about was just how you live your life around like in this like bubble like if you're afraid to do something and you know you've never done this before but you want to get out of that element and you just want to prosper into something that you know that you can become great in don't be afraid sis. 
I've been so afraid to be in a crowd of people. That's one thing that's on my bucket list, literally, like being around a crowd, a big, big, big crowd of people without being like, so like this, like, oh my God, I'm ready to go. That's just something I'm just trying to get out of. So that's on my bucket list. I'm going to get it together. Y'all pray for me as I get it together. Okay, sis? You going to pray for me? Okay. <laughs> but yes, y'all. So that's my another thing that's like been on my mind and like been bothering me. Like I need to just stop being like, I don't even know the word. Please comment down below so I can learn this word, y'all. But you know, you've been around a crowd of people and it's like you're just ready to go home already. Like, oh my God. I want to get out of that because I'm a people's person, but I don't like a big crowd of people. So I'm just trying to get out of that. But like I said, the same thing with me, what I'm trying to accomplish and get over, old as I am, I'm trying to get over it. And I just want you guys to know that anything that you wanted to do or you had in your mind that you want to just try, go ahead and try it. If you've never been on a plane and you just want to travel the world, you want to see different cities, states, countries, baby. Get out of that element, get out of that like scaredness, and just do it. Just do it. We're gonna do this together. We in this together, okay? We in this, because I'm scared of being around the crowd of people, and y'all is afraid of the plane. So let's get it together, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we just gonna do this together. We're gonna help each other, we're gonna motivate each other. We're just gonna be like, you know what? You might be afraid of this, so let me help you with that, and I'm gonna help you with yours, you know? That's just how it is with this, you know what I'm saying? Um also, it's like um, your living situation. Now, y'all know we live in an older house. This house is over 100 years old. And when I tell you I am so comfortable in this house until God blesses us with something bigger and something that I really am looking forward to, I am going to be content. That's another thing. Your living condition does not dictate who you are. Don't let people on the internet make it seem like, oh, I have to move to this city because it looks so good, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, they struggling with their bills. See, y'all, I came on here to talk real with y'all, and I'm just being real, and I'm being honest. I am so comfortable in this element that God has blessed me and my kids to be in that me thinking about moving to a bigger city just because I want to be like them or whoever, no, ma'am. I would get my place to the, pl to, to the spot and the look how I want it to be until I am able to, you know, get to where God wants me to be and I'm able to be comfortable. I don't have to think in the back of my mind, oh my God, if I pay this bill, I won't be able to get this or pay that other bill. You know what I'm saying? I want to be comfortable. God has blessed us and I don't want to move from somewhere where I know that, listen, why are we up here? Why am I paying all this money? You know, I just want to think smart. I just want to think more smarter, more, more clear. Like, things like, for instance, if I have a, like, something I purchased from a, like, rent-to-own place, and I get it, and it's like, you will have, like, a year and a half to pay it off, I want to pay it within a half a year. That's just me on me, you know? And I made a promise to myself, and I actually was, I actually did a bet with my two older kids. I was like, bet me I can do this such and such and such in six months. And they bet me. And I've been doing great. So don't bet me, because I'm going to do it. <laughs> so yes, y'all. But yeah, y'all. So I just was like, you know what? I need to come on. I need to talk to y'all. Um, I haven't did a sit down with me in a long time. And I just thought, what personal and great way to do it is to come and do a sit down with y'all at the end of 2022 new year's day you know what i'm saying just come and sit with y'all and talk with y'all and just get acquainted and just let you guys know what i'm leaving behind in 2022 and what's going to be coming in 2023 i'm not going to speak too much on 2023 but god holds the future and he knows what's going to go on and i'm just super excited for the promises that god has you know blessed me with blessed my kids with it's like it's so much y'all and i could talk about it on and on and on but i'd rather just wait and be patient to speak on that but yes y'all so a lot of things that have been happening in 2022 will no longer happen in 2023 i would not take any bullcrap from nobody um like i will you know let you know what what you did to hurt my feelings or you you know you came you crossed me a certain way um and things like that and then i'm gonna keep it moving but i do have to let you know what you've done because i you know how would you not how would you know what you've done to me that hurt me if I don't express it to you? Communication is the key. 
and I'm very big on communicating. So if it's like you can't communicate with me first and then you just go out and you do a certain thing and then you get, you know, don't do that because I'm a very nice, kind person. So anything that you guys may be holding on, grudges or whatever, on to a, about a person, go talk to that person. You never know. You can change that person's life. You know what I'm saying? You don't never know. So just never think too negative on a situation to the negative to the situation that you know now you've messed something up that could have been beautiful you know what i'm saying could have been so beautiful like i'm not going to give you nothing more nothing less than what i'm telling you if i'm telling you this then that's what it is you know but yeah y'all so just keep your head up whatever wasn't good for you in 2022 or the years prior please do not bring it in 2023 um i know a lot of people say that they're not going to do this i'm not going to bring this up i'm not going to do this but they tend to do that they bring the old baggage on to a brand new year and it's like i've been doing that also and it's like it's time out for that we grown you know so yeah and i just want to encourage anybody if it's something that you want to do you've been wanting to do but you're so afraid to do it do it Pray about it, give it to God, and let God handle the rest because you can do it. I want you all to be able to enjoy your life, travel. Me and my kids, we travel all the time. Like, it's it's nothing. A lot of people be like, oh, my God, you got eight kids. How do you do it? That man up above. Because if I ask God for something, he's going to deliver it because I'm honest with God. You see what I'm saying? And when you're honest with God, God's going to supply all your, he's already supplying all your needs, but it's just certain things that you ask for, you get it just like that. You just have to be honest to God, be honest with yourself. You know, that's another thing I learned too, y'all, was being honest with myself. When I say being honest with myself, I'm meaning like, I'm trying to satisfy you but I'm not getting that back in return. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't do it. I will not do it. And I, no, I will not do that anymore. I have to make sure I'm satisfied within and I'm happy within. Because once I'm happy, then I know for a fact my kids are going to be happy. And my kids are already happy. But I just don't want to put no extra baggage on my kids that they don't deserve. You know, if they don't deserve something, I'm not going to put nothing more on them that they don't deserve. That's point blank period, you know. And if it's something that, you know, you've just been lingering on and you just need to let go, pray to God and ask God to just change that situation. And God will change it for you. He really will. But yeah, y'all, so that's basically everything that I wanted to talk about. That was the end of the video. Um, this is not going to be that long, that long, but I did want to come across and just let you guys know what I believe in in 2022. There's nothing that needs to else to be said about it like you know just leaving bad baggage back in 2022 bad relationships back in 2022 um and just coming out with the new and that's just how i've always been if it's no change leave it where it's at god is trying to take you somewhere and nine times out of ten where god is taking you nobody else can go with you if they're still stuck on themselves you know what i'm saying you cannot be stuck and trying to elevate you cannot do it god is trying to plant your seed somewhere else but you instead of right here get yourself together do do what you need to do to get things together in 2023 so that's what we're gonna do y'all we're gonna just you know we're gonna rock the boat what well, Aaliyah say rock the boat rock the boat twerk it in the middle whatever she said child <laughs> but yes y'all but anyways i love y'all so much thank y'all so much for tuning into this video i hope whatever i said in this video helped you out a lot i know it's not too long but i did want to talk to you guys about something that was like you know that i need to just let y'all know before entering into the new year um i love y'all and i hope that y'all have a beautiful and blessed day and again like this video subscribe to my channel share me out let your people know about me your sis sharaka baby i love y'all until next time i will see y'all